next editions of the PM Show and take them anywhere you want. Be the star of your company picnic with Fred Dreyer, giving you his ace in the whole opinion on politics. Spice up your neighbor's fondue party with a little help from Robert Conrad. Or my personal favorite, tell those Hawaiians the real meaning of aloha with Larry Manetti. For more information on where to listen to these great shows, along with many others, log on to crntalk.com and create your own listening experience today. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I am Fred Dreyer. We were talking about the opportunity that Mitt Romney now has, seeing as the actions in the Middle East have now changed the narrative here in America. This gives Mitt an opportunity to uh, act like a president, and that's what he should do. He should today, right now, right now, for, for the grace of, of, of those people that have been murdered and for what is right in, in the world, uh, what is right in terms of, uh, of our, our independence and our freedom in this country. He should celebrate this opportunity and, uh, uh, and, and, and bless the ground he walks on because he now has been given an opportunity here in his campaign to change the narrative on Barry. He'll always have Barry's record, but what is also true and what is critical to him is that he'll be able now to start talking presidential about foreign affairs. So when he gets into his debates, he's not going to be hearing that you don't have uh, any type of wisdom or any type of insight or any type of experience whatsoever to be and handle all of these tough issues that are, that are amongst us. He's got two months to prove to the American people by coming out and thinking through this position that he has, talking about, okay, jobs, 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 the economy, capitalism, why it's good, educating uh, uh, us as to why he is the one that can fix these problems, and at the same time start talking about uh, that he is already the president. He has to think like he's the president. He has to start talking like he's the president. He has to actually put Barry on the defensive by telling people exactly what he would do, what the failings of Barry is, and, and they are great when it comes to the foreign policy. This country was told by Barack Obama and Hillary Hank Clinton that, that what was going on, the changes of Mubarak leaving Egypt and, the, and, the, and democracy with a capital D coming into the region was great for America. It was great for those people to be free and wonderful. It was such a lie, a manufactured lie. It is now turning out to be exactly what it was, a scam, a takeover of the, of the Islamic Brotherhood. It is to solidify radical Islam throughout the region. As soon as they get rid of uh, uh, Assad in Syria, that is going to the Brotherhood as well. Uh, and, and they've got Iran, Iraq. All of these countries now are going to be a block of America hating Islamic screwballs. And, and you're now stuck having to talk to an American constituency, Americans who, who are so painfully stupid, they can't think for themselves. You know, what's, what's terrible about what liberalism has done and what, 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 has, what has happened to the country is many feel now that Barry has done what he's done, you know, falls into the range of what is now a normal behavior. So, so to win an election, Mitt has to explain why what is happening right now is not normal and point it out. Of course he has an opportunity here now to sit there, and, and I think that this afternoon, this morning, he, uh, he, uh, he got on the case and, and, and started giving uh, his opinions about it. He's got to beat this guy, Barry, with, a, with, a, with a, uh, uh, a whip every single day for the next 63 days, however long it's going to be. You know, you have to remember one thing. We're dealing with, with an uninformed public in this country. You've got lazy brain teenagers who, you know, who've been bought off with uh, you know, X-Men videos and iPods, you know, not to mention uh, dope and, and rampant, rampant promiscuity. You know, there's, there's no education. There's politics over truth. 
You know, we, we not only live, you know, in, a, in a, an abortion on demand culture, we live in a society that has normalized infanticide. Imagine that. We, you know, we now believe that, oh, yeah, it's okay to, uh, you know, to kill kids uh, at any time you want. You know, and, and by doing so, you establish a wholesale debasing of human life. And let me tell you something. When human life is treated like a two-year-old stereo equipment, you know, it's time to hit the road, buddy, and load the station wagon because it's over. And, and so the Republican Party is, is the keeper of, of what is just and what is moral. It's a Christian country, whether you like it or not. You don't like it, move to Libya. They got, they got guys in the street over there. You want a you street party? Well, they got people over there that'll, that'll party with you. Get out of here, leave here, and, and, and leave us alone with, our, with our, our lame Christianity, as it's called. You can't, you can't understand, you know, uh, uh, what is happening in the world until you leave here, until you open your brain up and, and really contemplate what is going on so you can ask the right questions. You know, you've got, right now, you've got, in 2012, Mitt's mantra is jobs, jobs, jobs. It's the same mantra as T-Rex McCain's was in 2008. I'm a maverick, I'm a maverick, I'm a maverick. That's, that's all I heard. That's all I heard from T-Rex was, I'm a maverick, I'm a maverick. Nothing substantive. He missed all the narratives. He missed all the windows of opportunity to put up a battle, to show people in the country, you know, conservatism has some thinkers in it. Conservatism has some wisdom. Conservatism has people in here who understand the, the history and, and the traditions of our country and understand our, our, and, and live by the Constitution. You know, Mitt is a good man. He's a good family man. I think John McCain lost his way somewhere down the road. But, but right now, our, for me, our two candidates, the last two presidential candidates, T-Rex and Mitt, you know, they're, they're too much alike in the form of how they're talking to the American people. You know, and, and, and if, I'm, if I'm Mitt Romney... You know, I'm standing up and saying, my next guy, who's going to be Secretary of State, my next Secretary of State, Tommy Franks. That's my next Secretary of State. I'm not pushing out Hillary Hank Clinton or Madeline, not too Albright. I'm not doing it. When we get back, there's more. Don't go away. This is the Fred Dreyer radio program right here on crntalk.com. Thank you. Thank you.